Hey, how's everyone doing tonight? Um, decided to do a video on lithium polymer connectors and to talk a little bit about batteries in general. So I started out with 18650s, the great cells, love them, but when you're pricing cells out and you're starting to look at getting a large capacity, uh, when I say large capacity, I'm talking two, three, four, five hundred amp hours. Um, whether you're running a car, whether you're running a motorcycle, whether you're running your house, it doesn't matter what it is. What you're looking for is the capacity and energy density. You want the most energy in the smallest amount of space. So I started out with the 18650s. If you look at Q30, Q30s, they put out 3000 milliamps. Um, they go for about $4, maybe $3.50, maybe $3 if you get enough of them. Um, so you're looking at about a dollar an amp hour. Uh, that's great for small projects. Um, but like I said, as you're getting up there and you're looking for something that can hold more power, you're going to want to upgrade to something like pouch cells. People are afraid of pouch cells because they're afraid of them exploding. They're afraid of God knows what. They're difficult to work with. There's no easy way to connect them for the most part. Um, anybody buying volt batteries, uh, batteries from most of the, um, EV cars, with the exception of Tesla, are all using these cells because you can get the most power out of the least space. Um, this cell here is 40 amp hours. As you can see, it's ungodly narrow and it's kind of flat, like a pancake. So it's not really that big. And it puts out 100, and it runs 3C. It's 40 amp hours, 3C, which means that it puts out 120 amp hour, or 120 amps discharge. Uh, they also charge really fast, so they're great. Problem comes in is how do you connect them? Because me personally was trying to build a power wall big enough to power my entire house for two weeks if the power were to go out. Um, my house is right around 5,000 square feet. Um, so I couldn't use a small power. I'm not trying to do a little RV. I'm trying to do my whole house. I was looking at the Generex generators, but the reality is, is that they only will power a portion of my house. It wasn't big enough to do the whole house. So I decided to try to figure out how to, I've been experimenting with different batteries, chemistries to figure out what's gonna work, what would give me the most life, uh, things like that. Then it comes, how do you configure them? 12 volts, 24 volts, 48 volts. Uh, how many do you string in parallel before it becomes unsafe, being that these are in your house? Um, even if you're using them in a car, even if you're using them in a motorcycle, no matter what you're doing, it's how do you configure them so they can be safe? Uh, the safest way to go is to put them in parallel, more in parallel, so the draw is shorter on them. So for example, with the Tesla batteries, um, they have a ton of them in parallel. So even though the Q30s, which I think they were using in the first generation, put out 3,000 milliamps um, and could discharge, I think, at about 15 amps each. They were only pulling about three amps from each of those cells at any given time uh, because they ran so many in parallel. Um, same thing goes with these. You don't want to be running them at, or pulling 120 amps consistently. So you got to put a certain amount of parallel to make sure it does it. So let's say you're using this for a car or Let's use the car example. Say you're using this for a car um, and your car pulls 600 amps at peak. You would probably wanna have about 10 to 15 of these in parallel. Now when I say parallel, you don't wanna stack 15 in parallel. You wanna make sure that you just have them in parallel in some way. Personally, I like to have them in parallel, uh, no more than two to three in parallel, but then parallel those and have each set controlled by a BMS. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. So right now I had these made. I have 7S, 1P. That means there's seven in series, one in parallel. This will give you 24 volts, nominal, 29 volts, um, fully charged. Uh, if you're using lithium ion cells to charge up to 4.2, nominal 3.6. Before I get started on that, here's another cell. These, this is probably one of the best cells on the market in my opinion right now. They're just very, very, very pricey and tough to get real ones. 
This is an LG, uh, I don't even know what they're called. It's an LG cell that has 63 amp hours. Um, they can run at 5C peak, uh, 3C continuous. So you're looking at a cell, five times like 300 amps, somewhere around there, I believe. My math might be off, don't kill me. But, um, so these are great. And you can see how thin they are. So if you were running an electric car on it and you were to get like a, um, like say AC 51, you want to run it 96 volts. You would just need 26 of these stacked up and you could put three or four sets of them and you'd get 200, 300 amp hours depending on how many you put in parallel. But as you can see, it's, I mean, it's a little bit thick. It's about a centimeter thick, maybe a half centimeter. Um, it's a little bit long, but it's still pretty narrow. So you can configure them and stack them in different areas, different ways. For me, these are like the perfect size. So let me show you how you use them. Here's the board. It has a negative and a positive side. It's gonna alternate the tabs, negative to positive, negative to positive, to put them in series for you. All you need to do, I'll build a 24 pack now to show you how fast they get put together, is take your negative side, um, because the negative is right there, it's the B negative, so that's where we're gonna start. All you do is slip it in, negative positive. And anybody can do it. That is what I like about this. It is super, super simple. There we go. Turn this around so you can see it. Lift it up. Right here is a 24 that I just built in two seconds. A 24 amp or a volt pack with 40 amp hours that can discharge at 120 C. Or I mean 120 amps. Um, you can solder your leads to your BMS right on to these strips here, these nickel strips, and you can spot weld these together, or you can get a little piece of, um, aluminum and actually wrap them onto each other. And then there's little holes you can actually bolt them through and bolt them down. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. There's multiple ways to do it, but it's in any event really easy. Then you can tape these, put them in a box, do whatever you want. But as you can see, that's a lot of power in a little space. So if you have an e-bike, you want to throw something like this on the back, this will have you running forever. Uh, power walls, you want to put a bunch of these in parallel. Great. That way, if one of the cells goes bad, all you have to do is pull out one cell. Unlike if you're using 18650s, typically people use the holders and you got to take the whole holders off. It's... It's just a lot of work to replace one cell. I know people might say it's not, but it is. Um, this is super simple. So this is the 24 amp pack done. So that was super simple. I needed a 48 amp, a 48 volt system. So I have this one. So for this, it's the same idea. Here's the B positive. So you're gonna put two in here, going the same direction. So, um, this side is B positive. So you put B positive, B positive. Another positive to positive, negative to negative. Then after the first one, you switch it. You can see here on the board, all right? You can see here on the board, there is a spot for the two that you're putting in parallel. Then it jumps up and this is the series connection from here to here. So you put 
you flip them and then do two of the opposite. So if this is your positive side, then that would be your negative. So, and this is exactly how the volt cells are set up. Um, so you can see here, you have the two that are connected, and then this is your series connection from here to here. Take one more and do the same exact thing. Really simple, that's it. So you can see here, there's your two cells in parallel. Your next one is gonna be in series up here. So these will be the two parallel ones and then it'll jump to the series to the next one. And the good thing is that all you have to do is take your BMS that you're using and you can weld it right here to the um, leads or throw your leads out the side. Or what a lot of the manufacturers do is they run them down the center. So you can run them right down the center. Tape them straight down and you're good. So this pack when fully put together will, with these cells that I'm using, is 80 amps, uh, I'm sorry, will be, yeah, 80 amp hours and 48 volts. So if you put two of them together, it's 96 volts um, and um, 80 amp hours. So if you're gonna put it in a closet or put it power wall, that's not a ton of space for that much capacity. You couldn't fit that many 18650s in that much space. So just thought I'd share that with you. Um, like I said, I have a plethora of these that I'm not gonna use, but I had to buy in order to get them made by the manufacturer. They're custom made for me. I've seen some out there before, but they're hard to come by. So, like I said, I figured I'd get them made for myself. If anyone else is interested, let me know. I'll let you know where to get them from. I only have two of them. If there's more of a demand, I can get more made. Uh, I just have to buy several hundred of them, so it gets a little pricey. So like I said, I figured I'd get them made. I um, have about 400 of them, of each one. And once it goes, it goes. If you're interested in them, let me know. Like I said, I just wanted them for myself, but in order to make them, I had to make a ton of them. Figured I'd share. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. Like I said, at about 50 cents an amp hour, you can't beat that. Um, the output's better. Like I said, if you're using it for a power wall, car, whatever you're using it for, if one goes bad and starts to puff, you can see which one it is. And you can see which one swelled, pull it out, slide another one in. Super simple. That's what I'm trying to make. Super simple. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it was informative. If you're interested, you can just inbox me, like, subscribe. Um, for the next three weeks, I will be giving away a set, I want you to give them away one. I'll give a set of them away. I'll give uh, a 48 volt one and a 24 volt one away for you to test, play around with, throw out, hit your kids with, whatever. Just need your shipping address. And uh, actually, you know what? I'll cover the cost of shipping. Um, it's not much. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe if you want one. Want to win one? Comment below. Thank you. See you guys later.